Yeah, welcome to my page. Welcome to my channel. Um, this is a beautiful Thursday. I appreciate you for coming by to um, watch my videos. Uh, today, I'm still going to talk about um, the money ritual in Nigeria, the awareness. I've not stopped um, the awareness of money rituals. What is money rituals? The people who are looking for money through all means through killing human beings, through spiritualists or spiritualism. Um, a lot of people in Africa, especially in Africa, this is where we believe that um, um, you have to kill someone to make money. And um, it's been rampant in Nigeria this time around where a 16 years old will uh, want to be a billionaire 18 years old we be, want to become a billionaire um it has been the uh the reigning moment in nigeria where um, mothers are expo uh, uh, mothers are uh, encouraging their children to go to herbalists or even take them to herbalists to make money rituals and i begin to worry so much that um why am i so worried so much if those young chips or young chaps goes to um, the, uh, the the voodoo man or herbalist, as I, I should call it, and use their own body to you know, for money ritualists or whatever they call it, I wouldn't have worried so much. I wouldn't be worried. But my problem is the girl child that they are being kidnapped. Our children, our girl child are, are, are so flexible, you know. Um... An opposite sex cannot do without the opposite sex. That's the problem. As our children grow at 15, 16 years old, they be, their hormones begin to change. I want you to understand, for most of you who think that our children are a shower or a harlot when they begin to grow, no, it is not like that. This is how God created it. God created us to feel that sexual urge when we begin to grow and our hormones change from when you are 10 years old. It's quite different from when you are 15. 16 at 16 your hormone begin to change you begin to feel for opposite sex that is why you see our children are falling victim into these young chaps of their age who are using them for money ritual um if you are a mother and you are a father please kindly take care of your children nowadays whether in school or wherever try to go and visit them at least if they are if it's not too far away your husband should go there at least once a week go to their room go to the apartment where she's staying if possible spend a day complete day or spend a night before you go back home i uh, i worry for our girl ch girl child you know i'm going to play some video here uh, as an evidence uh, uh, you know uh, can you hear me uh, let me go to the voice, I mean, to the messages. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, so, um, I worry for the women. I worry for the women because women are so flexible. I can walk up to a woman and say, oh, I love you so much. Oh, you're beautiful, baby. Oh, man, I've never seen a, a beautiful uh, woman as you are. And uh, she would definitely fall a victim. Please, ladies, don't sleep with your two eyes closed nigeria is very hot now you may not be seeing all those things but we see them i may not be seeing all but i see few i see in hundreds hmm? where this one come from self so um if you if, if you if if we have to be careful don't trust nobody uh before i proceed into this uh, i'm going to play a video for you guys to um, see, uh, we have a whole lot of, a whole lot. When you go to um, internet, you are going to see a lot, a whole lot of, uh, um, on internet, you are going to see a whole lot of uh, 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 spiritual thing. You see, uh, Nigerian, um, you see new uh, news about money rituals in Nigeria. You see, Nigeria and the concept of money rituals. Money rituals on toast story and everything you know. 
money rituals news. You see, everywhere is money rituals, Ben Bruce lament all oh, government and what money ritual in Nigeria. So um is 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 overwhelming. Um it's actually overwhelming, it's actually overwhelming. So I don't know what to say, but um, I'm going to play you a video here. Uh, I'm going to play you a particular video here for you to be aware that the money ritual is not a joke. Please, um, as I'm going to play this video, just uh, bear with me. I'm going to play you this video. Um, okay. Um, before I play the video, this video is um, actually from Breckett, the family uh, a radio and reality show that uh, reside in Abuja. I watch it every day and I decide to copy this video. So this video is Kotsi uh, Brekete family of uh, um, ordinary president. Yes, I'm part of Brekete family. I am a member of Brekete family for the past three years. Yeah, all over the world. If you want to watch a reality show, please go to Brekete family reality show on your YouTube channel or Facebook. Yeah, so let me play this courtesy break at the family. On oh, hijack them. This now the kind of people where they look for that kind of lawless society where then they call freedom. This is not freedom. Monday play. Uh, the best way of making success is ritual. Use your girlfriend for ritual. Not use your mama, not use your sister. Yeah, yeah. Use your girlfriend or use her side. Now I work fast. Shop, shop. Yo, if, if you get shop plug, what's it going to happen? I have to use her for ritual. And if you, if you get shop plug, you know if you increase. Not be all ritual is the wrong model. That's not sure. Now your ritual. plug, no, no. Uh, the answer. Correct. Uh, the best way. Now, some of you now they live with with, with, with with children for house. Now, Yahoo them be. Make you now they check well, well. Some children get more than four passwords for their for their laptop. They get screen where they maintain. When we say any time we you just near their uh, system. Now, waiting they teach them for school. You go see. But uh, once they minimize them, na transaction then they do. And who will go hold responsible? The society. Who be society, parents, and government? The ones who then catch, waiting then do them. Have they punished them enough to serve as a deterrent to other people that were already contemplating joining them? Is the punishment hard enough to discourage them? My brothers, my sisters, we need to wake up all of us. Now we don't talk about this one. Make we do something. Welcome back. I've not done yet. I still have a lot of video to show you. I still have a lot of video to show you. You see that video? It is the young child. When I say that video, I make I play him again, no? Now, small, small children from Nigeria, they talk, say, use your girlfriend. I don't tell you, I make you draw on our children here. Even if not be girlfriend, all these small, small children will be five years, six years, seven years. Make you be careful now where they send you children, go buy Maggie, come. Uh, go buy Maggie for, for, for backyard, you know, far. Go and buy Maggie at the other side of the road. Be careful, people are hunting for children. Let me play it again. Maybe you, you are just joining in. Now, the, the young, young chaps in Nigeria, look. He said, use your girlfriend. Listen. Don't hijack them. This is not the kind of people where they look for that kind of lawless society where then they call freedom. This is not freedom. Monday, play. Uh, the best way of making success is ritual. Use your girlfriend for ritual. Not use your mama, not use your sister. Yeah, yeah. Use your girlfriend or use her side that. Now work fast. Shop, shop. Yo, if, if you get shop plug, what's it going to happen? I have to use her for ritual. And if you, if you get shop plug, you know if you increase. Not be all ritual is the wrong model. That's not sure. Not that your plug, no, no. Uh... The answer. Correct. Gar uh, 
the best way now did you see that did you hear that from that young boy you know see them hmm. i'm worried for our children i'm so worried right now i don't know what to do so are we having those guys girl child for ritualists what is our government doing about it what is the government doing about it you see our government are so confused that they can start hunting everybody where be babalawo i'm telling you that's the only thing all the babalawo should start be arresting those that have that they have arrested at the point of meet ritualists those that have they have arrested with people body parts what have the government done about them they are just lamenting they will come to front page of the tv i mean of the paper and just talk we should start hunting for all these spiritual herbalists the bad ones who, how will you even identify which one is bad and which one is not bad? Nigerians, we need to wake up. You and I are the police. You are the police. I am the police. Because in this situation now, their parents are supporting those children, bringing money home. Some of them will be, will be girls, child. When you come home with a nice shoes that your father and your mother cannot afford, when you come with nice clothes and you're a student, you come with a nice bag, nice iPhone, and your family cannot ask you, Nkechi, where did you get the money to buy this shoe? Chioma, where did you get money to buy this shirt, this clothes? And Bidemi, where did you get money to buy iPhone 7, iPhone 8? Where did you get the money to buy? We should, we should be able to. And this is the high time we should be the police everywhere. Things don't change, Joe. And who are the people that are, are making this thing very difficult? More difficult. It is the industry, the social media. The social media. Our brothers on social media. You see, I am saying that these social media influencers who like to flaunt things on TV, on social media, please, can you just come and tell them that it is just a prank? Come and tell them it's a prank. Make I tell you now, one thing, I don't know. You see this hand as it did so. If I begin to touch this thing like this every time, where I touch them? If I do like this, I know they pinch myself. Oh, I just touch them like this. If I every day, if I did come, I touch my, this place like this. Tomorrow I come, I touch this place like this. This place will change. It's going to change because I'm touching it all the time. And if I don't touch this place every day, I'm addicted to touching this place and I must touch it. Now, so our children, when will they bring it up? At that age that you are growing up at 15, 16, 10, those things that they saw on social media, they think it is normal. Now they are able to have their own video. This is not the time where you sit with your child and watch video on, 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 on TV. When they are in school, they can watch TV here. Whatever they see here is what they believe. In those days, we sit with our mothers and sisters and we watch TVs together. While we are watching the TV and they are doing all those morning ritual or whatever, our father, our mother will tell us it is a lie. Did you see how the video ends? If you do this, this will happen to you. But these children, everything they learn on social media, look at that. Yesterday, I opened my cell phone and I saw Zazu, Zazu. That guy they call Zazu, Zazu, whatever. He said he bought a car for his father. It is not a bad thing. Him is a musician, right? But these children, at the age... As young as that guy is, 
our children also think it is just normal that, oh, you must be rich at 15, you must be rich at 18. Where is our pastors? Where is our mega churches? When are we going to stop preaching prosperities and preach? I beg, we need to, we need to, we need to sanitize these children. I swear. We actually need to sanitize the children. It is not only government work, oh, but the government has a lot of impact on these issues. Our children have a lot of, to, we as a parent, we have a lot to say. I'm still going to play another video. Listen. I'll be back. On the 28th of September. Please, because of the importance of this, we are extending our time for our program permission from our regulators and as well as the management of human rights radio and television continue on the 28th of september i lost my husband 2019 since then i've been struggling with my kids a boy and a girl mm -mm. so i secured a job in the hospital in the medical center a private hospital where i was working mm -hmm. on the third of december i went to work i left my son and the sister at home how old was she she's four and on he... the 8th of february she became five mm -hmm. so i left them at home because it's a very big compound where they stay with my neighbors so the brother chose to take her outside the field opposite the house to play football mm -hmm. the brother is seven years now mm -hmm. so when he was outside playing ball they asked her to sit down in the field and watch him play ball by the time the girl stood up to leave the field, she he didn't know. So, on the verge of looking for the sister, he ran to one of his friends named Abdul Latif Taiwo, who is a seven-year-old boy with him. Latif, did you see my sister? The boy said, your sister went straight now with one man. Immediately, he ran to my place of work. Mommy, they said my sister went straight with a man. Where is my sister? Did she come to your place? I said, no, your sister is not here. Immediately, I called my colleague to come and take over. I want to go in search of my daughter. We searched everywhere the area. I did not see her. I had to go to the police station to report. So they said I should give them 24 hours. So I went to the chief palace to, to report. Here. I think there is a need for us to change this law of saying you must wait for 24 hours when the police is supposed to assist you almost immediately to conduct a search, they are telling you to wait for 24 hours. Nigeria will better address no day. Nigeria will not, do, will not be the exact population number we will get. You are waiting for 24 hours. Between 24, within 24 hours, somebody don't reach Niger. Somebody don't reach Cameroon. Somebody don't reach Cotonou. Somebody don't reach... Then what are we saying? I think there is the need for us to raise this point for police to stop saying 24 hours. Once somebody comes, say my person lost, make one follow him. Now hear them. That woman lost her daughter. Somebody just picked up the daughter, and that was it. I still have another video I'm going to play. You see, those people you see on Brekete family, you see those people lining up. All of them now they are they are, they, they have they are they are family they are family of the victims. They plenty now because we know they see all these things so, and all these things. We, we don't, you don't even have a radio station to run to. When you go to a radio station, they go ask you for money. There are things that should, we should, Nigerians should change the law. Just like that um, um, ordinary president is saying, that Nigerians should change laws. When you run to the police station, they will tell you, wait for 24 hours. They go don't butcher that person to death before you know. They go don't, they go don't carry that person cross border. After 24 hours, how many hours does it cost you to be in the United States with a flight? And you are asking to wait for 24 hours. How long does it take you to be in Europe? Six hours only. So you to for you to be in Europe, it takes you only six hours on the flight to be in Europe. 
Does it take you 24 hours to be in Kotonou? Does it take you 24 hours to be in Ghana? Does it take you 24 hours to be in Ivory Coast? I believe Nigerian police, this law should be changed. It's really affecting. In the Western world, when they hear somebody is lost, they begin to search now, 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 now. They begin to search now. All those nomadic laws where we not get, I beg, make we not change that. Make we not know talk say with the abuse now. Please. And Nigerian government, you people should start helping. This our child girls where we they born now. Are they fear? Oh. Me now, women I like before I like the I, I even want may God give me only women because I believe say men they give problem. Now the men where we get now, now they kid women. Women are always the victim and always the victim and always the victim. And Nigerian law should be changed. Because every time you go to the police station, bring money, bring money, bring money. If you don't bring money, they will not go and search for your children. We also have a problem of tracing the cell phones. If somebody is lost now, 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 please, can you just tra track the number and know where that person was kicked? Now, if, if that person is lost, you will know where his number the last time or where he got to. If they kidnap somebody now and they took him away, believe me, when they collect the phone and open that phone, the last place where they collect that phone, they go trace them. Something must happen. Nigerian police are beg. I know, say, not be this constable police, not, not be them be problem. The police at the top are the problem. Abroad, everything is provided for the police. When I run to the police station and I want something, they don't want, they will never ask you for money, no matter how expensive. Even if it will cost them helicopter, they will order for helicopter and start searching for whatever it is. And this is the reason we are fighting for Biafra. This is the reason why we are fighting to divide the country because this country, Nigerian government are incompetent. I'm sorry when I'm saying this. They are confused. They don't know what to do. They are campaigning for 2023. Ask them, what is the change that Tinubu is going to give? What is the change that Ayim, Payos Ayim, is going to give when he becomes a president? They can't say nothing reasonable. When you ask Rokchats or Korocha, if you come to the platform as a president, what are you going to do different that is different from Abacha? What is different from Obasanjo that you are going to do? What is different from Good Luck, Jonathan? And what is different from Muhammad Buhari that you serve right now? What is what are you going to do that is different? They don't have good manifesto. None of them get, none of them get good manifesto. Ask Tinubu. What are you going to do different when you come to the podium as a president? Uh, Tinubu, please give us give us your own manifesto. What are you going to do? They are not going to say anything that makes sense. 1999 constitution, if it doesn't change, all of you that are voting for 2023, you will still remain the same. And I will still be on this platform and tell you in your face, you are a joke. Those of you Nigerian youth, you are waiting for 2023 to share money. Some of you are waiting for university now. They, they share money now. You see, their target is those that are in the universities, right? Because they know in university they have a group, they have a union. They are starting to give you 10,000, 20,000. You must vote for uh, um, Tinubu 2023. I beg, organize your student to make a vote 2023. When they collect money, they put for pocket. Your future when you finish university now, cut out all of Unago go they ride. Some of Una now, shower Unago go they do at the end of the day. Some of Una now, thief Una go begin go the thief. Mm, not be lie because no job for you. You are collecting your future. 10,000 naira is your future, 30,000 is your future, even 1 million. Now, be on a future. Make Una collect them. All the university in Nigeria, me una collect them. Now they also want to go to strike. And you're telling me they are not deliberately? 
Do you think that is not deliberate? Every time Asu is going to strike. Every time Asu is going to strike. Your children that are supposed to finish university four years, they will use extra three years and finish at seven years in the university. And the same people that are giving you 10,000 to vote for them, their children are not schooling on this, in this country. Their children are second-class citizens of other countries. Some of them they have two, two different passports of another country. Two, two. If you put Nigeria on, three. Do you see that? Well, those of you who believe that Nigerian is going to be good, is good. You people are dreaming. You, you guys are dreaming. It's, it's just in a pipe. You know, you know what's in the pipe? When I just there in a cycle, it dot. Nigeria is going to be good. We are not, we, we are not integrating for, for violence. We as a beer France, we are not, we are doing you guys a favor. You don't know. A lot of you don't know that Namdi Kanu is doing you a favor. Mazi Namdi Kanu is doing you a favor. Mazi Sunday Iboho is doing you guys a favor by saying, can we just divide this country? Make we know what in day. We know what in day. Make everybody just know. Make everybody the answer in Papa's name. What is going on now? Aousa here tomorrow. Fulani here tomorrow. Ibo here tomorrow. Yoruba here tomorrow. I beg, make I make I kuku stay here. Make I know say and they speak Yoruba straight up. Make I kuku know say na Ibo and they speak here. If I want trade with a Yoruba man, I go know say I'm trading with a foreigner, and I will know my lane. And when they even come to the drawing board and say who are the most one Nigeria in Nigeria. Who are the most one Nigeria? Who are you going to choose? Among Yoruba, Igbo. Who are you going to choose that is the most one Nigeria? Only the Igbo man you can choose. 99.9999% that Igbos are the one Nigeria that we have. Only. If you think I lie, which country are you now? If you are not in Nigeria, please, I want to ask you a question. If you are in the U.S., you have Yorubas, your Yoruba that you have in U.S. Is Yoruba a hundred in U.S.? All the Yorubas, none of the Yorubas have any property in the Southeast. Do you know that? I said if you are in the U.S. right now, and we have like hundred Yorubas in the U.S., all the Yoruba that you have in U.S., ask each one of them. None of them have a house in the southeastern part of Nigeria. None of them have a house in the northern part of Nigeria. They only build their property in their own state. I'm not saying it's not good. Though. It is good. If you see an Awusa man in the U.S., ask him, where are your properties and what? where, where is your business? He will never tell you that he has a business in the southeast. But if we have hundreds of Igbos in America, put them together in a hall and ask them questions. 80% of them have a property in the southeast. 80% of them have businesses in the south in the Yoruba land and even in Abuja. Who do you think you guys are fooling? Who is the best Nigerian? Who is, who is to be called the best Nigerian? If they want to take, they say that Igbos, they cause problem. Now, nah, the Igbo people, they cause problem. Uh, Biafran people. Uh, all of you are hypnotized. All of you are, are, are hypnotized. People who don't know what they are doing. If you want, tell yourself the truth inside you. Tell yourself inside you who are the ones who are the people that are developing the northern part of Nigeria? My brothers, including the Yorubas. They are the ones who develop the northern part of Nigeria. They're having business there. They are having properties there. How many properties does Awusa have in Yoruba land? And they ask you, how many properties they get? We want to talk about division is it's, it's like they are shooting them a gun in their head no it is just like let me bear my father name please can you just let me be um i'm sorry you used to be my friend you used to be my brother okay let me be even a family if a brother brothers to brothers everybody can separate them look at uh, p square 
be square. They used, they used to sing together, right? When problem come, they, everybody give step aside. And everybody was doing their life. And they were doing well. But when they decide, I say, okay, we are tired of, of separation. Can we just come back? They came back. If you're thinking about Nigeria, oh, Nigeria is, we are, we are, we are meant to be together. But look at the foundation of Nigeria now. Since 1914, the amalgamation, as they call it, amalgamation, just patch, patch. They patch us together like, okay, uh, you, the Igbos, we, we, we can't be with these people. We don't speak the same language. We don't have the same ethnic group. The Yorubas will come and say, oh, I don't like these people. We don't, we let, I don't want to be with these people. I will some people too come say, they don't want to be with these people. These colonial masters, the imperialists, still manage to match us together. Say, okay, after 100 years. They know after 100 years, they may have gone. Lord Lugard is gone long time. He knew by this time, we're well, not go fight. You go, don't go. Even in family, family, you're not going to know. They know before they match you guys together. Now, all of you now, 250 million people. You don't have a database to even know how many people that you have in Nigeria. Accidents every day on the Nigerian road. People are dying. They can't fix the road. Hmm? Now, is Nam the Kano the problem? No. Igbo man is not your problem. Igbo man is the best guy who can develop, who develop your country. I mean, yes, your states. We are everywhere. We are, if, if they want to talk about Wazobia, Igbo man should be called Wazobia. Not you, Aousa man. Not you, Fulani man. And not you, Yoruba man. I'm sorry, Yoruba, I have to say the truth. How many business do you have in the Southeast? How many business do you have? You don't have the zeal of business like me. Do you? If you do, then let's do it. I'm not here to condemn the Yoruba, but I'm saying the, I'm saying, I'm saying the truth. Since the inception of Nigeria, um, Obafemi Awolowo doesn't even like want Nigerians. I mean, Igbos. Does he? The only problem that we have, you see, the problem of, of we Igbos, you see, Nam the Azikiwe should be held responsible. Nam the Azikiwe should be held responsible. Because this northern people and the Yoruba people, they were in the middle and said, we don't want, we don't want. He came into their middle and said, we are meant to be together. They are all gone now. They don't die. Yo. When all these things happen, when Nam the Azikiwe is still there alive, he keep mute, keep quiet. I'm sorry. I have to say this the way it is. Because you people don't read history. Yeah, you are not reading history. We should go up, go back to the drawing board and read history. I still have to play another video for you guys. Um, but give me a moment. I'm going to play another video where kidnappers, yes, we are talking about kidnapping. Nigerian, let us be careful about kidnapping. Can we please be careful about this? Oh. I'm playing another video here sorry <laughs> oh my 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 <laughs> so uh, i was i played another video there sorry guys <laughs> uh, i play another video there sorry i i played a video where i was uh, shooting um a mimicking a lucky to be so I was shooting that video that day. So oh. <laughs> I saw that video now. I, I even laugh. Oh, okay, let me let me see another one. Let me shoot, let me play another one anyway. I have another one here. Let me play it and see. Okay, it's the same thing. Yeah, okay, it's the same. Wow. That's an old school, old school step up. Okay, there's another one. Let me see this one. Wow. This one is very short. Um, okay, let me play that video. I think it's here. Um, ladies and gentlemen, listen to this video. Thank you. In the evening. In the evening. See, she's looking for my son. So I asked, I followed her up that day, that night. So 
so she can not be able to find the son. I asked her to report. We she report that night and she called me in the morning. We've come in late night. Say police said they have found the children at Ijora. They have found the children at Ijora. Say yeah. so let them come in the morning and go, let them go and pick the children. Yeah. I said okay. She went there in the morning. Say so police asked the hundred thousand and uh, and uh, money for Ubasha. I said okay, hundred thousand is not the problem. problem. Mm -hmm. Go there first and pick the children. Mm -hmm. So they went there. They say it's misinformation. So they went back. When they went back. The letter called them again. Say they see the children for one church. Sure. Before, so who they call them? They tell them this information. This one is a neighbor again, a young girl. Call, call tell them they see the children for church. Mm -hmm. So, so let them go and carry the children. So before they read. The you see that video when I watch so, eh? Yeah? That video when I watch so, eh? Make when I look, I'm going to play. I never play and finish show. You see, those people when I see all of them so, each and every one, one by one, they have people where they don't kidnap. Not be small, small children, no. Small children and adults. Somebody will be 25 years. Somebody will be 35 years. So for those of you where, where they do Uber, be careful. For those of you who they do Uber, if somebody they chat out now, make when I be careful. Among those people, there's a guy who is about 30 something years old who they kidnapped with a car. They told him that, oh, we want to charter your Uber, your car. They charter the car, they kid him and snatch the car. I, they kid him and bury him. So be careful when somebody is coming to charter you. Say, go far away. Or God, if the person they tell you, say, from so 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 state to another state, be careful. If that person get money, make you go take flight. Don't go far more than the state that you are. If you are within Abuja, be careful where you are going anywhere. If you are, if you they, if you they suspicious, carry those people and enter, enter police station. Say, police, I beg, I want, to, I, I'm going to this guy. I'll just, those guys go there surprise. So let's go and report to the police that you are taking me to some place. If you are genuine, please be careful. So let me play the video to the end. In the evening. In the evening. See, she's looking for my son. So I asked her, I follow her up that day, that night. So she can not be able to find the son. I asked her to report. We she report that night and she called me in the morning. We've come in late night. Say police said they have found the children at Ijora. They have found the children at Ijora. Say yeah. so let them come in the morning and Go, let them go and pick the children. Yes. I said, okay. She went there in the morning. The police asked the 100,000 and, uh, and uh, money for Ubasha. I said, okay, 100,000 is not the problem. problem. Mm -hmm. Go there first and pick the children. Mm -hmm. So they went there and they said, it's misinformation. So they went back. When they went back, the letter called them again. Said they see the children for one church. Sure. Before, so who they call them? They tell them this information. This one is a neighbor again, a young girl. Call, call tell them to see the children for church. Mm -hmm. So, so let them go and carry the children. So, um, I will continue the video, please. I just want to analyze so that you people will understand. You see, Nigerian government, listen. Money are meant to spend. There's nowhere in the Western world where somebody will go to the police station and request that you have a problem and they begin to ask you for money to write. They will tell you, bring money for pen, bring money for paper. Please, now, we are... Listen, listen. We are disgracing ourselves. Look at those people as they day for our own eyes. Do they look like billionaires? Somebody, whenever I chop Belefu, when he comes to police station and says, I lost my child, the police will say, go and bring money. Can you imagine? That guy, if you're not listening, make you not listening well. Oh. He talks, say, when he reached police call and say, they don't see in children. When they got there, they say, oh, they say, come, if you're coming, come with 100,000 Naira. Ah! Now, Nigeria are disgraced view. I swear. Una think say, now you're not there normal for Nigeria. You're not there normal, oh. I swear, all everybody where they live for Nigeria, I know they're normal. I swear, all of you are not normal. 
I'm sorry if I'm saying this. I not be saying I not talk say when I the so. The problem where we not get be say everybody know they normal. Before you go to work, you spend like two three hours before you go to work, and you reach work. Can they go back home? You go spend another three four hours before you reach house. Then you go come they sleep at eleven o'clock. You won't cook, my brother. Come on, you won't. Before you reach house, you they drive or you they enter motor. Do you think your brain is still normal? You know normal. You, you can't even eat three square meals. You can't even buy the clothes you want to. In abroad, if you both want to buy clothes, no matter how expensive it is, you go go and swap card, you go buy them now. You go go buy, you go go swap. Whether you have money, this is how we want to, we want to structure Nigeria to the extent that everybody will be free. You don't have to be a, 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 a millionaire to drive a car. You don't have to. This is how it works abroad. Everybody, every cat and dogs have a car. Car is a necessity. It's not an asset. It's a necessity. House is a necessity. Oh, yeah. If you want to do business, you can build more. Ask your brothers in Europe. Ask your brothers everywhere in outside world. How many billionaires are, how many cars do they have in their compound? When you go there, probably you see one or two, three cars. That's all. One of the one of the cars will be an old car. Where we say belong to his ancestors. So sometimes we'll take it out. The other one is the one that he will take with the families anywhere where they won't go. The third one will be his own special car. Like, okay, this is my official car. If he doesn't want this car anymore, he's going to go and buy another one. Probably we're going to give this one to his one of, he go dash this one out to the family. Because you can't park car here, park car here. You don't even have a space to walk into your own compound. When you park car all over the place, there's no, no atmosphere. Breeze no go fit to enter your house. Eh? These are the people we say they are leading us. This money is made to spend. You are going to see how it goes sweet. Let me give you an example. How money is spent and is sweet. Let's assume we are five in this room now. Five people. And I am the only one who is buying beer to them. I'm buying beer for them. I'm buying chicken for them. And the other, the rest of the people are just looking like Mumu. Now I'm proud because I have the money. But they don't have the money. Do you feel happy? Or if you are an observer on the table, you sit at the opposite side and you are looking, it is only me that I'm putting hand in the pocket and buying beer to them. And the guy is going to say, uh, uh, Solo, I beg, I want um, I want malt. Give me malt. Okay, hey, bar, barman, give him a malt. The other person will say, ah, Solo, I want chicken. I'll say, oh, barman, give him a chicken. Does that sound nice to your fucking ears? No. But I'll give you a good example. If five of us are on the table, and then while we're drinking, I say, hey, barman, bring five beers. And the other person will say, why, why are we drinking beer? Come on, let us drink Hennessy. Oh, Hennessy. Okay, okay, just bring everything to the table. The other person will say, oh, are we not going to eat chicken or eat meat? Come on, let's eat. Oh, what meat do you have there? You order. How do you guys feel? How, do you, how, how are you guys going to feel? Probably someone watching at the other side, he has money and say, hey, guys, oh, I have a, I have another drink here. Come on. I just bought this drink. I brought it from, come on, give us, give us so, so, so drink. Give us so, 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 so. That is how life is spent and is, mwah. on that table, how will you guys feel? You alone, out of five people, you are the best, you are the millionaire. It pains you in the ass to bring your money. You cannot even give me cash. Drink beer. As you, they, as you they buy the beer, they pay you because you are the only, you are the only rich among five people. Nobody share money in the street of Europe. Nobody share money in the street of America. Nobody share money in the street of Britain. But everybody live in equal. There's no food where 
the president of this Israel want it now where I know go fit afford. Right now, I swear down. There's no food where president of America won't eat. Where I know go fit eat. Swear down. But I'll tell you the differences. It is the name of the restaurant that just make different. Those meats did not come from atmosphere or from another hemisphere. No. The meat didn't come from another hemisphere. It's the same, the same, the same chicken. Where did they kill all chicken? But the name of the restaurant will make it more expensive. Just like when you go to buy shoes in a very expensive store. When you go to the lower store, the same shoe and the same price. Not the same price, but the same shoe. This is how it works. The rich men go for the names. Why we poor go for the quantity? <laughs> That's the difference. Hmm? The only thing that will differentiate you from a, a rich man is only the perfume, the shoe, the cars, not the food. But in Nigeria, everything differentiates you from a rich man. You can't afford even to eat three times a day. You are just, you know, no, man. come on, man. Guys, guys, let me tell you. Nigeria will never change. Oh, I, I think I've not. Let me play. Let me finish playing that video before I I continue talking. Let me finish playing the video. I'll be back in the evening. In the evening, see she's looking for my son. So I asked her, follow her up that day, that night. So so she can be able to find the son. I asked her to report. We she report that night and she called me in the morning. She's called me late night. Say police said they have found the children at Ijora. They have found the children at Ijora. <laughs> say I let them come in the morning and go, let them go and pick the children. Yeah. I said okay. She went there in the morning. Say police asked the hundred thousand and uh, and uh, money for Ubasha. I said okay, hundred thousand is not the problem. problem. Mm. Go there first and pick the children. Mm -hmm. So they went there. They say it's misinformation. So they went back. When they went back. The letter called again. Say they see the children for one church. Sure. Before, so who they call them? They tell them this information. This one is a neighbor again, a young girl. Call, come tell them to see the children for church. Mm -hmm. So, so let them go and carry the children. So before they read, they say it's misinformation. That's what she was telling me. So I now decided to report to Napti. I now asked her to report to Napti. So Napti said I should get lawyer, which I get the lawyer because missing children no be their matter. Yeah. We should get the lawyer. So when I get the lawyer, it seems like the case is almost the same thing again. The case is almost the same thing again. Yeah, what is my um my main purpose of making this video? Nigerian government, we need to put and we need to tighten up our lace. You see, all those people you saw on that video, all of them where they line up so at Brekete Family. So this video is called See Brekete Family. Brekete Family is a reality and um, TV show on in uh, Abuja by owned by the CEO, ordinary president Ahmed. I appreciate you. Um, uh, I know uh, you don't have a problem for me using your your content. I know you are you are a good guy. Uh, you, you are doing well, and I will continue to accept if you know what make I they use in our content to analyze. Oh, because you have a platform where people come to um break it a family. Uh, you, you have that platform where you uh we talk you want the betterment of Nigeria, even though me and the ordinary Ahmed Isa we have a different uh perspective. Ahmed Isa is somebody who fight for the betterment of Nigeria, and if we have like only five of somebody like that in Nigeria. Nigerian will be better. Go and watch this platform. I swear down, some time you'll be crying when you see things that are happening. Today, what happened even there? So it's, it was a lot. So I just have to cut short a little to analyze to you guys. Me and Ahmed Issa, we have different vision for Nigeria. Ahmed Issa have a vision that Nigeria will be better. And um, uh, I don't have a vision that Nigeria will be better together. I don't have that vision. Uh, Ahmed Issa is somebody who is, uh, he, he is, he is an Igbo man. His mother is an Igbo man, woman. She's, he's from Ikwere. Her mother is from Ikwere. 
uh, you know, uh, he, he is an Igbo, 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 this thing. So he, now blood, now two blood didn't get. I don't know where his father come from, but I know he's somewhere in the middle belt. He's not be a Usa man, not be Fulani man. So he's doing well. But we have different vision about Nigeria. He doesn't believe that Nigeria should be divided. But me, I believe Nigeria should be divided. I respect his vision, but he should respect my vision as well. I don't want, Nigeria can never be better. He wants Nigeria to be better. He is looking forward to see who can fix Nigeria. He actually think the same that I think. Like, okay, if I actually want Nigeria to be better, these people that are on the platform of Nigeria now need to be uh, totally eliminated. The one that stole money need to be eliminated. He doesn't think like that. For me, I think like that. But he thinks that these people should step aside and, um, and pay back Nigeria the money that they stole. Uh, you know, it kind of interwoven the way we reason together. But me, I believe in Biafra. I believe that Ahmed Issa, as a middle belt man, uh, he may be confused. Like, where do you want to push me to? Are you going to push me into Aousa or you are going to push me into middle belt? So I don't want Nigeria to be divided. Yes, I believe Ahmed Issa, that's what you're thinking. Because people are that side of middle belt. They are kind of in mixed Yoruba or Igbo. Some kind of Yoruba Igbo, they are just lost in the middle. I'm sorry, I have to tell the truth. People in middle belt are just lost in the middle. When you go there, some people are speaking Yoruba, some people are speaking Igbo, some people are speaking Awusa. That's how they are mixed. When you ask them, I'm not Awusa man, then who are you? I'm not Igbo man. I'm not a Yoruba man. It's kind of confused. I'm sorry I have to say the truth the way it is. People at middle belt as the mixed of Yorubas, a, mixed of, a little bit of mixed of the Igbos, a mix of the all region of Nigeria and they become middle belts. So, Ahmed Issa, thank you for the cuts, uh, for the video. Um, uh, our vision is different, and I don't think Nigerians will be better. No, 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 no. Those people don't have, they, they can't do it, brother. 1999 constitution should be scrapped first. 1999 constitution, first of all, may the carry on, tear that paper into pieces. Because the constitution that Awolowo were using, Awolowo cried, Nigeria should be region. Nothing was done. Ojuku came and cried. Nothing was done. Now is the time. The people there don't even have a vision of fixing Nigeria. No, 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 no. They don't have a vision of fixing Nigeria. I, be, I don't know where to be now. S -s -s Excuse me. You, you don't know how to fix Nigeria. You don't. You no, know, no, no. Person, they sick. He get headache. You know, they give him medicine for stomach pain. Think about it. There's no, there's no way that person can be cured. Somebody get eyes problem. You they treat him for stomach pain. How? What happened to me at the southeast? Why did why did the outside man or why did the Fulani man, a people that are not even Nigerian from the east onset, a lot of them are the parliament right now. A lot of them are the presidency right now. They were not born of Nigeria. Nigeria's border is porous. Nigeria is so porous in this north. They allow them to come in. They become one Nigeria. Fine. They don't have us at heart. They build the train down to their place. So me, we be somebody from southeast. Train no good to, to go my own side. Nigeria, Nigeria, uh, southeast governors. I'm sorry, unubukwaturo. Southeast governor. Anu meku eku unubukwaturo. Enugu state. Enugu state. Ebony state. Portacourt. Anambra. Imo state. Ununi nebu esikutaturo. Nda usa na train station from Ugwa usa banya another country ebehasi unu e mechi onu unu unu we seaport neba eba in eko ra kunu yes you na seaport unu o we hene mu unu nish ne kwa mu unu mu asin nam de kano ona agu unu mbano iha ade ramma like this how long are we going to be on this condition, no, 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 Zuzugari. ESN, the ESN, one, no, 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 no
na achupu ndi atoro ahu ni mohia. Unu gas chopu ta, sinu unu neme ebu bago. Wele ne ebu si umu unu. Ne kwa nkembu ne ya, nkensi ne ya bu rocha sukorocha. Ne ya chori bu president. Ndi unu ne ebu ko onye ge votu unu. Anyi mpayo sa anyi mputara si ne ya chori ebu president. Ke onye ge votu unu. Nda ne busi anyi. Mbu ndi ya usa. They don't want to kill them. They don't want to. Now they, they don't want to. They, they, they say they are not terrorists. Hmm? Niger Bridge can be arrow. Niger Bridge. Nka now. Niger Bridge ahu now. Nka wana asine hana arrow. Kogo ge ha garo chaya. Ne kwa wana nunu hasina Lagos na ga east. Hana ngocha ne nuzo. All your brothers from Lagos, they are going to East. When they are going to East, they are dying in numbers. The road is not fixed. And they say it's federal road. You guys are supporting Fulani Aousa and say, oh, we are meant to go, to go together. Even though if we agree, say we go there together. All sense, Kamadu GMA, Ihe. If we fed Doko, you wouldn't want your Naracho Fahu. I'm sorry that I'm speaking Igbo. I'm sorry, guys. Listen, our Southeast governors are so proble problematic. They, 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 are, they, they, don't, they don't know what they're doing. Look at them. All of them, their children are schooling. You, look, let me tell you guys. Why well, now they watch me now? Listen, Nigeria, they strike students, they, uh, um, universities, they strike all the time. You see Ghana here, your children can go to school in Ghana. They know they do jam for Ghana. If you know, they hear me now. If you have the money, enter plane or enter motor rich Ghana. Go look for school for your Pekin. Don't sit down in Nigeria and wait for your child. Where we say your child is 25 years old, he never get jammed. By the time when your child is 30 something years old, now, when he finish school. Which time the picking you go eat the fruit of your labor? Yeah, if you have money, cross down to Ghana. Go and look for a university in Ghana that is cheap on your own. Spend some days, go to a fine university. Tell them, say, I want to bring my son here to come at school. How much does it cost? They don't need to do jump in Ghana. Enter Ghana, your child go finish school within four years. You are investing on that child. Don't worry yourself. For those of you who are doing well, go and invest. How much does it cost every time? Those university lecturers, their children is in private school. They are not in that school. Listen, I think this thing of striking and striking is deliberately so that you people will be there behind and their children will be going in front. You, you go stay there school, they, they look for somebody where so, they're supposed to put for a job, for work. Now their children will no savvy book. Now they go carry put there. Let us reason well. Me, I reason well. Because it, it could be deliberate. How many years now? This strike has been there for years. Every time now strike, 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 strike. Come on now. Is it a rocket science? What does the government, uh, what does the lecturers need? The giant of Africa. We have all the money in the world, like we claim that there's money. Oh, we, the oil and everything. You can't even pay the lecturer their dividends. Come on. And when they are striking, they are striking. It is us, the common man, that we are suffering, our children. Me, where they sell banana for streets. Me, where I get one small shop for inside market, where are they where are they manage? My picking, they go school. That time when my blood still they hot, where are they hustle? That's the time I want to I want that child to finish school. My blood see the hot at the hustle at the hustle. My picking they go to university for three, four years. He don't finish. Well, I go clap my hands, say, Oh, thank you, God. thank God. When I go delay, so my bone go come weak. My picking never enter school, or maybe the one where don't finish school. That one don't finish school, you no know, see work. The other one won't finish school. Instead of that time where my bones still day, where I go still use and that 10 years, 15 years, 
Una take and they strike. That one takes seven years. Finish school way, suppose finish for four years. Give it eight years, self. Meanwhile, the other one never see jam to enter school. Nigerian, let us wake up. Oh. 2023, when I say, vote. I mean, I don't talk my own. Your bed right is 40, 4,000 naira. Your bed right is 10,000 naira. Your bed right is 100,000 naira. And your bed right is even 1 million. It's okay. Me, 1 million. If they give you 1 million, what will you do with it? You want to go and buy a car. Can you maintain that car? Will you buy a land with 1 million or you want to build a house with 1 million? I pity all of now where they vote for them. Mm. I know say make no vote too. Make una vote. But I believe in the southeast. This time around, we go show these people pepper. I don't talk am I they look for people we go talk. Make we they talk together. Now make are the vets. Where will they talk about this? Uh, our intelligence, where will they get where they for be Make we not they talk to somebody like or make we they bring idea for no get. I say I question a yin there ego. Sometimes yeah ego. Eh? The governor and in do you know why the governors are very, 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 very they, they are very they, they, they do all this thing where they do. On we be okay, okay, you didn't die at all. That is why I said Mazin Nam the Kanu is too is too quiet. If Mazin Nam the Kanu, it'd be like it dear me. You see, say all those governors, they never bond their 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 their, 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 their quarters. Nobody go carry, go there, go the truth gun now. Something will come from up, fall inside there. If they talk of Biafra, uh, Biafra freedom, they go say yes, yes, yes. But nobody, listen, not be everything we suppose they talk here. You know, as rats, they take chop person when they sleep. If rat come in the night, if you want chop you, make I tell you if you don't know. If you come, you go make like this. If you chop one small meat, come out on top, you go do. You go sweetie, you go to sleep. In Nambia, in Namia, you go come, you go bite you again. Mm. You go to sleep. In the morning, when you wake up, you go just see, say, right, don't chop all your leg, finish. Say, ah, 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 no, no, now winch, oh, ah, now winch, you chop my leg. Not be wind. And that rat, not be wind. Now, because he's dead clever. If you chop you so much. There are men who are more brutal than Mazin Namdekano. I'm not instigating for war. I don't want war. But sometimes that is why I see all those ESN who is going to kill our... I mean, sorry to mention ESN. I mean, so unknown gunmen who goes around and killing our. Uh, I don't like. I don't want them to be killing our king, our our senior citizens. Do you understand me? Those people, their balls is in our hand. Even them, they, they do pass their own thing. They think they think what they not supposed to do. When I go, they talk. You go see person where be say he belong to. He say Biafran. When I go go the test soldier, we are make una call. Make una understand though. Those those children where we now they see so. Waiting that they see when I know they see now before before they go say elder they sit down for on top of mount for 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 floor picking where they for mountain no go see waiting elder they see. Oga, children they sit down for floor now they see waiting day for mountain. Children day for Nigeria they they see waiting the day for waiting they happen for America. If picking tell you Mechion as an elder. Don't fight the child. Put your hand for back. Begin the work out they go. Now, so elders they do. Say, ah, I beg, make a come out. You begin the go. If you tell if you tell a child that, hey, this place where you do go, not be road though. If you know green, leave him. As long as it's not hot you, it's not hot anybody. Leave him. He go regret when he go reach that place. When I go call soldier, I made the community begin the kill when I youth. Who are you going to govern in that community? What actually leads to that youth to carry that gun? Have you ever asked your questions? Have you ever called the governor and said, come, 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 I beg. These youths are right on what they are saying. Please, come. Call the youth. 
Instead of you calling soldier to them, say, come, I understand what thing they happen. You know what thing happen. You see the federal government, now then they give him money where they take chop. Yeah? We we they on their ball now. But anything we now they do, I bet me could not kill anybody. Me could not they do their own thing. Me, I would do like say I know see you now. But me could not kill anybody. I know say they vex you now. We go get this Biafra. We could get this Biafra. Me could not, we know. You know, understand. Now so rad they take chop person leg finish. So, so now I want to go into um, social. Uh, we, we are going to go into social media now. I'm going to show um, some videos on social. I mean, I mean some. Um, uh, yes, uh, this is. Um, I still, you know, we are still talking about uh, the the rituals in Nigeria. You know, we still they talk about rituals in Nigeria, money rituals. Um, please, Anna Mayu, no Mwaka. Make me stop to the. Um, uh, I, I just want to click on something. My father used my pant for money ritual. You see this one? My father used my pant for money rituals. See, I'm... <laughs> okay. I think maybe it's a movie. I think that one is a movie. No, no, no. Uh, no, no. Let, I want to click on a, a real news so that we. Okay, let me. I think. Let me hear from this one. Let's click on this one. Let me see. Uh... Oh, my, my, my. God of mercy. Yeah, it's loading. I think. I bet you could help me share the video. I'm trying to load this uh, platform now. It's, it's going to take a while. Please help me share the video. So I think this is uh, on Toast Story of of uh, money ritualists. So I want to see what they are going to say. So please help me share the video. It's getting... I don't know if it's not playing. Oh, is it not playing? I don't know. It's not playing. It's supposed to be playing. I don't know. It's not playing. It's supposed to be playing.
Um, the video was playing, and it's still playing. No? I want to mute it. Um, I can't even. Okay, let me see if it's playing. I want to mute it. Um, I can't even. Okay, let me see. Okay, I definitely this this not this was not playing on the platform. I was actually playing a video. It was playing here, but I can't see it on the platform. You understand? But I'm going to do an adjustment into that where where I will be able to bring um some other vision from uh, internet to here. Actually, that I brought from the internet. So gradually, I'll be learning about all these things. So uh, I think we should come to the end of this video today. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. If you have money, take your children to Ghana to go and school. Let them go to their school once and for all and stop waiting for Nigerian schools to close and open, open and close, open and close. Where your child is opening and close, that's where those children go to start doing money ritual. That's where they begin to go and they begin to go and join courtists. If you want to take your child out of way, away from these calamities, with 2 million, with 3 million, you can send your children outside Nigeria to go and school, and they become useful. Picking where we say at 30, 35, you suppose don't they give you, help you? Because at that time, maybe you go down old. You go down the old. Now that picking go to help you, give you food. But you wait on old at four at 50 after 60 70. Now you still they find food they give picking where you don't we don't graduate from school with three million naira. Your child is good to go to uh, uh, UK and start schooling and be a part-time student and be working. If you finish school, make it maintain with three million is enough for your child to start to enter Canada, Australia, and become useful instead of becoming nuisance. When you finish school, you go come become a Kada man. At 30, many of you never marry you. At 35, many of you never marry Abi. In a Nigerian condition. So thank you very much for watching. I don't know where I'm getting all this message from these Ashawa women. From my email, it just they come, they go, they show nakedness. What's in with this one? So thank you very much. God bless you until um, we meet next time. I didn't even read your messages today at all. Now I'm clicking on the message. Wow. What time is it? Okay, I still have time. Somebody said there's no unity among the Igbo. Nobody say no unity, my brother. It's not about unity. There's... Uh, if they don't want Biafra, how can you? How, how? Oh, I didn't even read your messages, my brother. There's no unity among the Igbos, not because there is no unity. Do you understand me? Nobody said there's no unity. I cannot say there's no unity. In this country now, there's something that should unite you together. In this country, uh, Israel as it is, do you know what is uniting them together? They have Jewish that came from Morocco. We have Jews that come from France. We have Jews that come from America. We have Jews that come from Syria, Iran. And they are all here as a Jew. Do you think they like each other? No. When you hear the Morocco Jew, you say, oh, those Jews from France, I beg, leave them, enjoy the two, they feel too high. But do you know what brings them together? That war where they are among them. There's no place where we say people not fight now. Are we able going to the street and start killing ourselves? Even the Aousa people, where they hear so, they also have their conflict. Stop. Make people stop the tell and say, we no love each other. Make them leave that thing aside. If you have traveled out of the country, have you ever traveled? Go to Ghana. 
How many ethnics are in Ghana? They have different languages. They don't even like each other. What are you saying? Go to South Africa. The Zulu does not like the other people. The other people does not like Zulu. Not, that does not mean they don't stay together. No, not like they hate each other to the extreme. But they have different, a kind of different um, way of viewing life. And they live on. So that, that does not mean that they don't love each other. One or two people from Zulu will say, I don't like people from that in the belly. One or two people from the belly will say, I don't like these people. But within the Zulu themselves, people are quarreling too. Like, oh, these people from so, so so family. I beg, no mind that guy. Oh, no mind that guy. Does that mean that you don't love each other? Won't you fight? You know, the, your teeth not to bite your tongue. Your teeth not to bite your tongue. Make when I stop, they use that word because Yoruba people don't talk, say Igbo, no, they love themselves. I will start talking and say Igbo, no, they love themselves. You people are still saying every time when they come to social media, come they talk. Them. When I know they read history, you go to Cameroon, they have different languages in Cameroon too. If they are disliking each other in some what, does that mean that they don't love each other? Listen to me. Now that in I they take scatter Igbo people since many years, so they don't love themselves. Who says so? The only thing me, I believe that we, we love money. Some some of the Igbo people are too extreme in getting money. So me, I'm always careful with them. That's my own. It is their own, not be everybody, not all people. Me, as a, as a person, it is hard for me to do a business with an Igbo brother. Hard. Not because I hate him. That does not mean I hate him. But I'm afraid because some people are too extreme in getting money. Like, we can do business together. They may want to get everything on their own. Like, I, they, I don't care who you be, man. I, me, I go stay on my lane. I do my business with Yoruba. Some of you who sent money to my account the other day, you know, I don't see that Yoruba name. I don't know see him. He gave me in total oh, how much that I have. My business is with Yoruba people. Not because Yoruba people don't have bad elements in them, but we, I know how to control with them. I know how to talk with them. They respect me to the core. You know, Yoruba people, they are, they are people who like to respect so much and they are respecting me to the core not because i don't annoy them me too are they annoy and they annoy them now if they annoy them we go set to but my money they complete me i don't believe saying Igbo person i give that my business for niger we'll be saying my money go complete from january to december ah my brother's story go follow Story go, they follow up and down. Ah, no, 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 no. Not be everything we go to talk for social media. Thank you very much, guys. Um, somebody say I'm tired of being Rashid Zibili. You see, I'm tired of being Nigeria. <laughs> anyway, uh, it is what it is. Thank you. Uh, until I see you guys next time, and I'm going to leave you with this my dancing video. <laughs> <laughs>